Artificial intelligence is gaining popularity with students, now using it to w complete assignments in school. Is it ethical? Is it fair? Maya Fleck spoke with education leaders trying to adapt. This is ChatGPT, an artificial intelligence tool that allows the user to ask a question and get answers, which has opened a complicated conversation among education administrators. And now we're building on to actually a uh, study group led by University of North Dakota of the 11 campuses on the implications of ChatGPT AI on student learning, both positive and negative, meaning the positive benefits of this, but also plagiarism is one of the key things. It can literally write essays and has passed MBA sections of exams. Mark Hagrot sees how AI can be used in a positive and negative way. Students also have opinions on how it should be used at a university level. Me personally, I don't think I would ever use it. I mean, I've heard of it and I've never even looked into it because I just don't think it's right. And I personally would like to know how to do my job, especially because I go to a two-year college and getting my education is really important to me. And if students don't reference it, it violates the school's academic honesty policy. No, we already have rules about plagiarism. All of them have handbooks. And just like if you go to Wikipedia and you copy and paste, you have to reference this. So this is just one step up, but, but now you're referencing almost an, a, a low-level intelligence algorithm that wrote something that doesn't have a lot of footnotes. Chat GPT was launched in November of 2022, leaving administrators little time to regulate it. And educators say they are shocked at how quickly it's developed. As a former English teacher, my first thought was, oh my gosh, what are we going to do with this if people can just have artificial intelligence writing papers for them? BSC is holding faculty development days to help gain a better understanding of AI. They also have found one way professors can make sure students don't use it. Is that ChatGPT doesn't know how to reference information from the class. They don't, it doesn't know how to reference specific things from, say, a textbook. Faculty members can also run work they think might have used AI through zero GPT, which can detect if it was used. It's Maya Fleck reporting the T-Wolf.